Yo, what's going on? Styles and Roman US 99. Check it. Yeah. Chilling right here, Darius yeah, Rucker. What is up? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Welcome good back to Chicago, right. man. Welcome. Oh, you guys welcome to Chicago. Man. We live here. I know, but I'm happy with you guys. Man. <laughs> have, have, you, have you heard that we're the new morning show? I heard that. Absolutely. Did man. you give us the stamp of approval? Absolutely, man. Thank you. No problem, Thank you guys. Man. It's all that matters. I, I it's all that matters. Like, this is not a joke, man. I've always liked country music, but your song. Um, don't think I don't think about it. Made yeah. me love country music. Like, oh, that was the, that was the song that just. I was going through a breakup, I think, at the time, yeah. whatever, and I just loved that. Do song. You want to give a shout out to that girl? No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that song was so great, man. And I, that, I connect with that song. So when you're performing all over the all over the world, what song connects the most with your audience? If you had to pick one song that's like that really connects, what's what's the one? All song? right, is the song. All right, I was gonna say that. yeah. that's that's yeah. my song. Right yeah. yeah, everybody gets that one. Yeah, because yeah. I think so many people, you know, can live with that song. You know, like so many people every day go through what you're talking about in the song. Yeah, I, and I think if they don't have it, they want it. Mm -hmm. You right. know, and so uh, people, yeah, that that's the song people love. It. Is, yeah. that, is that the song you just put the guitar down and just put the mic in the air? Absolutely, it's the whole thing. Like, it's <laughs> and you've been doing it for a while, but do you still get the goosebumps? Oh, absolutely. Just the yeah. fact that I get to still do this, you know, now at this point in my life and in my career, I'm still doing it. And, you know, having fun doing it, I mean, I'm blessed. Well, yeah. one of the coolest things that I saw as I was reading up on you, man, was that you won your first two Grammys back in 1995. Mm -hmm. And then you won your most recent one, like, two <laughs> years ago. Yeah. There was, like, an 18-year span in there. Like, that that's amazing that yeah. your, your crowds are still rocking with you for all these years. That was one of the biggest fans ever, I think. Between <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. You're in Chicago. The Cubs haven't won a World Series. Well, okay, 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 okay. We okay. won't go there, but this is the year. Yeah. This is the year. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Actually, I do like the Cubs this year. Well, that. you're a Reds fan, correct? Yes, Reds fan. We have Chapman. Yes. We got Chapman now, so you got to pull for Chapman, right? Chapman, and you got Madden, who I think is the best manager yeah, in the game. So, yeah, you know, I mean, this could be, could be a great year for the country. We hope, man. We and that's hope. so cool about you. I mean, besides country music, you love to golf. Yes. I saw you on ESPN, the fantasy draft. Yeah, that night. was fun. How intense do you get when it comes to uh, draft day for your fantasy league? Oh, I'm in six leagues. Six? <laughs> and he's touring? Yeah. I'm in six I'm, leagues? I'm the commissioner of every league. Are you really the commissioner? Yeah, you're so, the top dog. Exactly. So, it's a, lot, it's a lot of fun. I love fantasy football. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a great time. And, you know, you get to, it's one of those times you get to get with your friends and then you have a reason to stay in touch. Yeah, all, yeah, of course, right. And then all right. your wives hate. Yeah, the yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. What are you doing? Exactly. I'm doing my fantasy team. I mean, <laughs> I haven't even seen your Twitter feed. You tweet about your fantasy football. Well, like your friends or something like that? You, you, oh, yeah. You, you tweet about oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. When well, you're that good, you got well, grad. Right, right, right. Right. I'm in six leagues for like, I guess, 10 years, I guess. So that's like 60 seasons I've won one championship. <laughs> <laughs> but you won. Yeah, but I've been winning. You know what? In 18 years, you'll win again. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> And one exactly. of the, another the cool thing about you, man, a lot of artists, when they get to where you're at, they won't do some of the songs that got them there. And I love your set list because you do some songs that got you to where you're at today. Oh. Why is it so important that you do some of the old songs that we knew growing up, growing up and stuff like that? God, I don't get it when people don't like the hits. I don't either. Yeah. Because my one thing I do when I make a record is I don't ever put a song on there I'm not willing to play for the rest of my life. Really? It's like, yeah, because you. you never know it's going to be a hit. Mm -hmm. And I think when people come to see your show and they pay their horror money, you can play those album tracks and those songs you want to play, but... And they deserve those hits. Yeah. And they, they want to hear those hits. And that's why, you know, they're there to see you, but they want to see you play those hits. Course, I've, been, yeah. I've been to shows where guys didn't play, well, guys, you know, they had 10 hits, didn't play one hit. Wow. And I'm like, yeah. what, what are you doing? I'm, I'm so like, glad yeah, you play the hits, man. Yeah. 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 I always play the hits. <laughs> Speaking of shows, you played uh, with Keith Urban. Yeah. The Opry a little while ago. Oh, oh, man. How cool is that? I mean, you just playing there. Is it, is it, is it as cool as it looks? Cool. Really? There's nothing like playing the Opry. I love it to death. And, and that thing with Keith is the prime example of how what happens. I, you know, I saw he was on the bill, and and I was on the bus one night, and I was like, okay, you know, Keith, you know, text him, dude, let's do a song together. Text me back, yeah, hell yeah, you know, and <laughs> up, and you know, we got together before the show. And hey, do you want to text us tonight and be like, hey, do you guys want to come on stage? Yeah, I already <laughs> texted you guys, but they texted me back that y'all can't sing. Oh, oh, he's talking smack. <laughs> Chicago, man. Is there anything about Chicago that you're like, I have to have that. I have to go to that. Is there anything that rings a bell for you? Oh, goodness. Chicago, you know, I got to have Chicago pizza. The pizza. Time. Okay. Everybody, Everybody says the thin crust. Every time. I like the thin crust. Okay. But yeah. I like the deep crust, too. I'm just a pizza guy. Yeah. Every time we come here, we have to get pizza. Okay. Good, good, good. You know, Chicago's like a great place. You know, I love coming here for football games. I love coming here and going to the Cubs games. You know, there's yeah. nothing like sitting in the bleachers. Or yeah, awesome. uh, I got season tickets, so if you want any tickets, yeah. let me know. I will. Let let you know. Hey, my seats are better, so come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he's bragging. <laughs> We're hanging out backstage, Darius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Go Cubs!